as a youngster, I, I several times tried to commit suicide because my mother was mentally ill. My brother, eight years older than me, was mentally ill. He tried to kill me when I was 10 years old. My best friend broke down with mental illness. The one boy that took care of me gave me a bottle of drugs when I was 13 to hold for him. That very same night, his best friend shot him in the head and killed him. And my neighbor, a friend, at age 12, he hung himself in his closet. And I hated God so much. And every day I used to say, I hate you, God. And this is my broken life. And then years later, I met a girl. And I, for the first time in my life, I fell in love. And I asked her one day if she would marry me. And she said, yes. And I was so happy. But what happened is that very next morning, I broke down and cried. And I knew I had to let her go because I was carrying so much hurt and pain inside me. I knew I would break her heart. And I loved her so much. Her happiness meant more to me than myself. So I revealed everything in my body about my pain. And it took several days to reveal everything. I, I gave her hundreds of reasons to walk away from me. But after I finished sharing with her, she said, I never saw it as your weaknesses. I see it as your strengths. I didn't realize it then, but she wouldn't leave me. And for 42 years now, we've been married. And she is the blessing in my life. I share this message in schools, and amazingly, it opens up children to want to heal also. And they start revealing these messages to me in letters, thousands of letters, some which I shared. And those letters would break your heart when you read them. But this is what kids are struggling to do. That's why the suicide thoughts of suicide in children is so high, over 20%. And you know, here's one question I ask all the children in schools. How many of you are hurting, and nobody in the world that knows you're hurt, not even your parent? Every single child that I spoke to raised their hand. That's how many kids in Hawaii are hiding their pain from talking to their parents. The list is endless, and that's why I go and visit parents, and I speak to them. And when I spoke on Molokai, I could see the tears in their eye, as they could see where they unknowingly had blocked the messages that kids were trying to share with them. As I end this message right now, I can say this with my loving, with my heart, is that if we could go deep inside ourselves, back to our childhood, and reveal all the things that have stopped us, and we block and we hide, it changes the direction of our life. The world is so big, but so is the big picture of life. And I'd like to end with this song real quickly. It's a very short song. The theme song for the children at Hanoli. It came to me in 1970 when I was thinking of leaving this earth and taking my life. I am what I am. I'll be what I'll be. Look, can't you see that it's me, all of me? I am what I am. I'll be what I'll be. Look, can't you see that it's me? And when the kids sing with me, I ask them, what does this mean to you? And the kids will say, it means that I'm special. It means that I can be who I am and not pretend who I'm not. And this is the message what this song is all about. And I, in closing, could I ask all of you to do me a favor? And if you can, just sing this song with me. I am what I am. I'll be what I'll be. I am what I am, I'll be what I'll be, I'll be what I'll be. Look, can't you see, look, can't you see that it's me, all of me. I am what I am, I am what I am, I'll be what I'll be. Look, can't you see, look, can't you see that it's me. Love is the greatest gift we can give to others because it allows others to love us. And the greatest gift we can give ourselves is the gift of forgiveness, to forgive those who have hurt us, but just as important, to forgive ourselves for allowing hurt to enter us, the false words that people hurt us with. Thank you. I love you all. Thank you.